So here we go, we're off on our uh, trip up north for about two and a half hours roughly. So just um, going through the, what's the name out here? They're doing some big, row, um, there's a banana farm down there. They're doing some big earthworks down in the um, estate just over the hill from us. <coughs> They're levelling a mountain, or a mountain in Australian terms, probably small compared to other, other places, but um, they're knocking the mountain down there to to fill in for the houses to get closer to us. But anyway, there was no houses down there when we bought there 18 months ago, down the bottom there. <coughs> but anyway, so Joel and I are heading for this drive. So we're so, just talking about the highway. Yeah. So we're going to head on out to the highway as we get going. Uh, one of the interesting stories Charlie was talking about yesterday I had we were doing some earthworks and I was um, working for another company and we were talking to one of the guys there and he was from um, this is a true story this is from out um, or up north out west and up north <coughs> anyway in a small country town up there and his dad was a bit of a legend in um, earth moving stuff and things like that anyway the, boys play pretty hard back in those days and um, he was working on a car in the yard and his father was mucking around with the bulldozer and he was uh, a little bit drunk a little bit worse for wear anyway he said to um, said to the old mate he said listen I'm gonna crush one of your cars said, oh yeah whatever if you want to so dad climbs up so he's got no shirt on old pop and he climbs up onto the car with the dozer and um, he's skating around on the on the car. It was probably only about a D4, D6 size dozer. He's skating around on the car and he screwed it up because he'd been drinking a bit too much. <clears throat> and it was an open canopy. And when he went off the off the car, she nose dived and landed nut blade first. And he came straight out of the seat, shut him out of the seat, and straight over the bonnet. And the only thing between him and the front of the dozer, because the dozer's still going, was the exhaust pipe. And he's grabbed the exhaust pipe around. Anyway, his son's laughing like mad. And um, he's got all burns down from his shoulder, down across his chest and whatnot. So that was a very sore point for years and years and years. And the, while it's an injury and things like that, the boys play pretty hard. So they ragged on the old man for forever. They got very old. But lo and behold, in Australia, when the backhoes really, you know, took off with uh, four-in-one buckets on them, we used to have a habit where you'd carry your buckets inverted so your teeth stuck out under the bottom of your bucket. Anyway, old mate, the sun is flying down through town and the, the train lines go straight through town. And um, she's bucked and porpoised porpoised as he's come through the train lines and she's sunk the teeth into the train tracks and it has stopped the backhoe dead in its tracks and catapulted him out the front of the backhoe and you wouldn't believe it he's wearing his Jackie Howe blue singlet on <clears throat> um, the only thing between him and the front of the tractor was the exhaust pipe so anyway, he's wrapped himself around that exhaust pipe and she's just like the dozer was, she's glowing red hot. <coughs> so anyway, so he's got third degree burns. Anyway, he's cut, cutting around town trying to pretend everything's all right. And um, a couple of days later, the old man said to him something about um, this clown in this backo flying through town, hit the tram lines, hit the train tracks. <laughs> and he said, how did you know about that? Because naturally all of the um, other folk were on the old man's side so they dobbed him in that he'd um, come a gutter because he wasn't going to let the old man know he got he got done by the exhaust pipe on the back of But anyway, that's a true story. So he got um, got catapulted out of the machine. But yeah, that, that was one of the downsides to carrying the buckets inverted in the um, in the main bucket, in the 4-in-1 bucket with the teeth sticking down too low. So anyway, that's just a little little true story, just a little um, joke if you want, or whatever you want to call it. I suppose it's not really a joke, but the boys play hard. You know, they don't they don't um, cut any slack to each other. So he got ragged on for years and years after that. 
anyway thanks for joining us it's a little story we'll uh, keep on plugging along here as we get going we're just heading out to the highway now so <clears throat> there we go it's a beautiful day down here had more showers again last night and still getting more showers every every um, you know few hours it just well it doesn't even dry out we get some storms and things like that as well so pretty unsettled pattern but it goes from being beautiful like that to pouring rain in an hour so anyway anyway I'm Gary that's my son Joel thanks for joining us um, please subscribe please like our videos please jump on the son's um, channel when he gets it um, posted across and we'll talk to you all later thank you bye